students uh, welcome again to the continuation part of form 4 topics we are now in the last topic of form 4 series this one is referred to as three dimensional geometry or simply called three dimensional figures uh, introduction of this we say uh, there are some figures in which you cannot give the definition of their dimensions you cannot tell whether they are dimensions is length or width you just lead the definition without even giving the dimension. So things like those ones, we consider them as dimensional as constant. A good example of those is a point. A point is a dimensional as constant, always being denoted by a capital letter, but we cannot give the dimension. That is it. Is it having what is the width? We cannot tell it. So some quantities or things which are only determined by looking only one dimension. We consider them as a one-dimension line. One-dimension line. Um, for example, uh, if you look at a piece of line, this one is only determined by looking at the length from here to here. So only one dimension. So here we say only length PQ is determined. So this is a one-dimensional figure. We call it so lines is simply a one-dimensional figure so when you want but there is some figures in which we determine them by considering two dimensions um looking what lengths and widths um examples of these ones is a rectangle a square a parallelogram a trapezium uh, dimensions figures like these ones Determined by looking two dimension, we call them as a two dimensional figures. We call them as a two dimensional figures. So we say figures which are determined by considering their length and width are called two dimensional figures. Example, you can see rectangles, square, parallelogram, lombasi, figures like those ones. Uh, but we need to know in really life situations, some figures can only be determined by looking length, width, and height. By looking length, width, and height. We'll be checking and we'll be touching many examples of such kind. But just in a real life situation, looking a rectangular prism, uh, you'll be always looking for the length, width, and height. So figures of such kind, we call them as three dimensional figures so before we start exhausting a lot with the concept of three dimensional figures only to note that you will be having length weight and height uh, to determine such kind of figures figures like a sphere um figures like a light circular cone uh they take the shape they take a space uh you're going to be considering their volumes they occupy Figures of such kind, all them categorizing them as three-dimensional figures. So what are we going to be checking Checking in this topic? We need also to know terms used. The first one, which is more used if we call it a plane. Mind you, we have a concept here. A point is also one of the terms which is used. A line is one of the terms which is used. We are going to check them. So one of the terms because a plane. A plane is a surface being closed by three or more edges or lines. So is a surface closed by three or more lines or edges. So we say consider the figures below. When we check this, uh, the open surface for a rectangle is a plane. So a figure marked P is a plane. A figure marked N is a plane for the triangle. With a prism, rectangular prism like this, there exist about six outer planes. There are some planes which can be obtained by sectioning, but we are talking about planes which is just outer planes. For example, looking for the prism, which is a three-dimensional figure, um, we say there is A, B, C, D, which is a base plane. 
and there is a top part which is e f g h is a top plane and also we have if we use let's use this as a teaching aid this is a typical example of the plane we are talking so a is here a is here from this figure a is here with b is here and the c is the corner down while it is here so there is a base plane there is a top plane in which is taking e f g h there is a side plane which is a b f e a b f e there is little plane to the side which is d c g h this one there is a side plane which is b c f g and another plane to this part which takes a d h e so you can say six outer planes from the shape okay let's look now with the other terms used okay students so we want to look from the other terms used uh, the second term is the word an angle uh, we know an angle is the amount of turns for the point from one point to another upon in rotating we covered this in topic of trigonometry but this time we want to specify we would much prefer with the concept of line meeting and forming an angle so we say an angle is formed when two lines meet so as i have said that we know that by definition an angle is the amount of turns for a point from one position onto another However, here we will more use the concept of lines. So we say, let's consider this figure here. So you have the line AB uh, meets with the line CD at point Q. So the two lines meeting forms an angle X, Y, R, and A. So we say, simply an angle is formed when two lines meet. Uh, so that is what we are saying. But we should note, with the three dimensional figures, there are also scenarios or situations in which an angle is formed. Uh, we will have an angle to be formed when the two planes meet. Then we're looking here. When two planes meet, we say a line, an angle is formed when two planes meet or when the two lines meet. Two lines meet from definition. A line PQ meets with the line QR, that is edges now, from a three-dimensional figure, it will be edges. A line PQ, the line along this edge, and the line Q along this edge, so meeting and forming an angle of 90 degrees, which is the angle PQR, the PQR. And in the same way, when two planes meet, an angle is formed. Plane PQR, SC, P, Q, R, S, which is the base, which is the base plane, and also with plane P, Q, N, T, P, Q, N, T, which is this one, front elevation. So with the base, with this plane, so we have an angle at this. So which is an angle, we can say an angle, an angle P, we can say an angle S, P, T. So the angle is forming here from a three dimensional figures using count example of, of this prism, taking this as a prism. And when we, a line meets with a plane, for example, you take the line PZ, a line PZ is the line coming from this point, displacing its side coming to this point. So from P to Z, so displacement and the base, so is forming an angle by inclination. So um, that angle would be an angle Q, it would be an angle Q, P, Z by inclination. Would it be an angle? No, would it be an angle R, P, Z. That is R is here down, P, Z and Z. So R, P displacement coming out at this point. So this is the concept how an angle is formed. So we say, uh, a point is also formed when, remember I've said a point is a dimensional constant. P are points, Q are, these are some points. So a point is formed when two lines meet. For example, from this figure here, a line T N. The next topic of form four series of topics. Uh, we are now 
switching the top code linear program. This one has a top pixel linear program. So at the end of this project, we need to have the concept of the install for background of the topic.